Hi, I'm Dr Suze Kundu. I'm a teaching fellow in the Department of Materials here at Imperial College London. So my role is quite varied. I get to do some of the science stuff. I get to teach undergraduates, so help them out in the lab and stuff, help the organisation of that as well. And I also, as I recently, get to do outreach as well. So I get to show off what material science is get kids out there knowing what material science and engineering is about and kind of reveal the fact that actually the bits that they like in science tend to be the material science side of stuff anyway because it's all hands-on, it's really visual, it's really useful and it's really good fun. And um, The reason I love what I do is because it's pretty varied so I get interaction with our undergraduate students I get to do some of the, the novel science that's going on here as well and I then get to share my enthusiasm for it, hopefully to recruit future scientists and, uh, and just get more people on board with liking science because science is pretty cool if you let it be cool. So my research is based on water splitting in an area called artificial photosynthesis. The reason being that we're kind of mimicking a small section of what plants do during photosynthesis. So I devised a material that can capture sunlight energy and push it onto water molecules to split them into hydrogen and oxygen. We can collect the hydrogen, it's just a gas, and we can burn it as a fuel. So we're releasing loads and loads of energy, but the only byproduct that we get is water. So we start with water and we end with water. We have a beautiful sustainable cycle and it's a really cheap, really clean way of capturing solar energy anywhere in the world. So you don't need a ton of sunshine for it, it can actually work on the tiny bit of UV light that comes through wherever we are. So a lot of my research was based on nanotechnology and I think one of the problems faced by material scientists and engineers and science and technology in general is a fear of the unknown. Nanotechnology is a great example of that. A lot of people don't know what nanotechnology is and that's maybe our fault as scientists for not sharing that information readily enough and accessibly enough. Once they realise what it is, I think there will be less of a fear of it because it's not scary. Nanotechnology exists everywhere. We're basically mimicking what nature has been doing for billions of years. An example of that would be lotus leaves, which are super hydrophobic, which means that they really repel water. And the reason they do that is because they have a really beautiful nanostructure on the surface of the leaf that prevents water from actually wetting the leaf. So it practically bounces straight off it. Now we're using this technology and incorporating it into a range of different things from super smart glasses to things like super hydrophobic swimsuits. So new technology is always having to be considered even in things like the Olympic Games. A lot of these super hydrophobic swimsuits were actually banned because of technological doping. So there's loads of science and technology everywhere around us. We maybe just don't realise that it is involved in practically everything that we do. The reason that I love doing what I do is that I get to do a range of different things. So I don't sit in a lab and work on my own. I get to interact with loads and loads of different people, whether it is other colleagues in the department, whether it is other researchers, whether it's our students, or whether it's the general public going into schools and going to meet you know, grown-ups at festivals and things. I get to deal with lots and lots of people, and for me, that's a really important part of my job because I couldn't just sit in a lab and, and work on a tiny project. I would need to share my love for that. So I'm really lucky that I get to do that in my job. Why be a science girl? Well, I think first of all, you have to define what a science girl is. Now, I am very proud to be a science girl. I cheerlead diversity in science, whether that is gender balance, whether it is bringing more people from non-traditional backgrounds into science. It's mostly just showing everyone that science is for everybody. Science is for the people. Our economy, massively depends on science and technology and so it's really important that we get everybody involved. If we're automatically discounting half the population because they're girls, that's 50% of the population's ideas that we're not actually able to plough into science. So as a science girl I would say everybody should get involved, everybody should really know how amazing science is and how much fun it is and all the stereotypes that you're imagining, they don't exist anymore. <laughs>